It's the first weekend of February and it's time to begin the protein, uh, sub substitute protein feeding. I have mixed up some uh, pollen substitute protein mixture. Alright, I want to show you what I do to make up the uh, protein patties. And so the ingredients that I use is, uh, this is just some B Pro here, which is a, uh, a pollen protein substitute. Just a dry powder. And I mix that with some sugar. And then about a tablespoon of, of a high quality apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of that, and then, and then a splash of Honey Bee Healthy. Now what I did was I uh, started off with two cups of, um, of protein. Of course it's not doesn't have to be like exact measurements. And then I uh, did a, a two and a half to one mixture, two and a half times the sugar to one times of that. So that would be five cups of sugar. Take the dry ingredients and just mix that up until, until it's fairly well mixed. With two cups of Beet Pro and five cups of uh, sugar, it will take about um, about two cups of water, and I generally make it hot water. I'll get two cups of hot water in there. Then I'll mix the one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to that. And about a teaspoon of Honey Bee Hill. And once you have the liquid ingredients here, just slowly stir that together until you get a uh, kind of a, th a thick peanut buttery paste. And then spread that out on... on um, something like wax paper or parchment paper and then roll it flat to where it's about a half inch to a half inch to three quarter inches thick. Let it set at least overnight. It will then add a little bit more consistency to it and then you can put it on your hives. I have mixed up some uh, uh, protein substitute for the beehives. I set it down here just to check the hives to make sure that there was some bees around and, and uh, make sure that they were flying. And, and just in about two minutes, they've already found this, uh, this stash of protein patty here. Nice bunch of bees here. Can y'all see that? Y'all see these bees here? Let's go ahead and get one of these protein patties from here. Get one of these protein patties. Just set it on right here. I'm going to peel the top off of that just so that they can get to it a little easier. Uh, I'll leave that in there. It's good eating for them. But anyway, those all look like very good, healthy bees. So. Alright, this is the next hive we're going to take a look at. Just pop the top off. I've already taken the one cover off. This is the inner cover here. And they have just about depleted all of the sugar here. 
I'm going to give them just a little bit of smoke to push them down so that I can put the uh, so I can put the um, protein patty on there. And in fact, I'm going to put two of these half-pound patties so that give them pretty much a full pound. This looks like a very good, excuse me, excuse me, me by the way. There we go. It is chilly, the wind is not too strong, but it is starting to pick up. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. This one. I'm going to give them a little bit of smoke here just to kind of help, help them understand to uh, move out of the way here. There's quite a few bees here. So I'm gonna try not to disturb them too badly. Now we're opening up the hive that uh, that was a very aggressive hive, and I've requeened it, and this is what we have now. Look, look how nice and gentle they look here. They're just not bothering anybody. Anyway, so let's go ahead and put protein patty on here. I'm going to put two of the. Man, let me. Let me smoke them so they can get off of the... Hopefully that'll do them for a while. Okay, so here, here's this small nuke here. It's a double stacked five frame nuke and looks like that they're all doing really healthy. Here's an additional thing of sugar I put on just a couple of weeks ago and they are all over that. I'm gonna help supplement their sugar with this sugar protein mixture. Which this is about this is about a five ounce section. Actually, I want to take a little bit of smoke and push those. Take a little bit of smoke and push these down. There we go. So. That should, uh, they should be all over that next time I open this up. But I have learned this is an inner cover made with quarter inch plywood. I have learned that that is just too thin. And uh, no matter what I try to do to keep it dry, it's the plywood portion is just absorbing the water. So. So that's that one. Now this is the hive that I have that's in the more of a shady area. And I don't think that it's doing quite as well. There's still plenty of sugar on here. Um, and I see, actually I see plenty of honey down in here. 
Let's see what they've done with this. Well, there's, uh, I could hear bees underneath there, so that's good. So I'm going to give them a, a small amount here. And uh, this is where I see a lot of bees at, so I'm going to put it right in here. Maybe, maybe they'll cluster around that and do better. But that's all I'm going to do here. in here. They gone. One dead one right there. This one, no bees up on the top, so I'll open the, the bottom here. I opened this bottom here, right? I lifted this up, and I saw plenty of bees here. Now this right here has got the the uh, deep frames in here. So what I did was I slid. I'm not going to open them up again, but I. I lifted this up just a little bit right here at this crack and then I slid the protein patty in there. It's on top of the bars on the frames on this hive here. So we'll see if that works for them. So I'm just going to put this one back up and go to the next one. 